To detect if a file is hiding any information, if you still have the original file or you know what the hash of the original file should be, you can use the checksum of the original file and compare it to the suspicious one. If the SHA-256 hash of both files does not match, then we know that it has been altered in some way. We can get the checksum of each file by running the command SHA-256sum and then the name of the file. So if we run this command against our bananas-og.jpg file, we see that this is our checksum. And if we do the same thing with the modified JPEG file, we see that we have a totally different string of numbers and letters. So we know that this file has been modified from the original. Many organizations will use data loss prevention solutions to restrict unauthorized file transfers based on a number of criteria. Some of these DLP solutions include Forcepoint, Symantec, Trellix, Proofpoint, and Microsoft Purview. Forensic tools also exist to analyze suspicious images. These tools include Stegexpose, which detects least significant bit-based steganography, Stegdetect, which identifies steganography in JPEG images, and Exif tool, which allows you to look at metadata of files for hints of steganography. For example, if we use Exif on bananas-og.jpg, we'll get a whole bunch of metadata saying that this is a JPEG image. But if we were to run the same command on our modified.jpg file, we get an error saying that the data is corrupt, which would be suspicious to a SOC team. We can also use a tool called streams.exe to try and detect those hidden data streams. This tool is a part of the sysinternal suite for Windows, and to detect all alternate data streams across your C drive, you would type streams-s and then c colon forward slash. 